Hello and welcome. My name is Raven and this is the first of many videos I'll be making about the VR expansion plugin. This series will be focused on getting someone who is fairly new to the Unreal Engine up and running with the features that this plugin provides. Now, while I'll be trying to keep this information as beginner friendly as possible, I will assume that you have a fundamental understanding of blueprints. And if you don't, head on over to the Unreal Engine website, go into the Learn tab here, and then click on Online Learning, and it'll bring you to this site. You'll have to log in and all that nonsense. And then you'll have a plethora of videos here to look through um, that'll get you started and get you understanding of the fundamentals. Um, after that, come on back. Now, in this video, we're going to create a brand spanking new project with absolutely nothing in it. I'm going to go into the vreue4.com website where the VR expansion lives. I'm um, going to go under repositories and code, main plugin repository. It's going to bring me to Bitbucket. There's a little downloads link on the left here. And all you have to do is just click on download repository. It's going to give you a nice little zip file here. So I'm going to open this file up. And actually what I'm going to do is open up my project files here that I just made and create a new folder it's called plugins. Whoa, without a capital L. And I'm just going to drag that folder right in here. I'm going to rename this insanely long name to something like just VR expansion. Okay. Now what's really awesome about this plugin is that it's completely free. The only thing that you need to do is keep this license with it and give credit to Mortem Troll for creating it, or Joshua. And that's really it. You can basically do whatever else you want with it. So I'm gonna close that out. Now that it's in there, I'm gonna reopen the project. It's gonna give me this warning here about the plugin need to be rebuilt. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit yes to rebuild. And now this might take a minute, so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. Aha! Now we are back, all right. So new plugins are available, fantastic. Manage those plugins, all right. There they are, they're enabled, fantastic. That's all I need to do there. Project files out of date, would you like to update it? Of course, of course I do that, yes. And I'm gonna click on this little source panel thing here. I'm gonna make some new folders, call it VREP. And then inside here, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna save this level so I can make sure I'm working with it later. Inside here, let's just call it uh, 01. Save that, fantastic. And a couple things for my own sanity. I'm gonna change the editor preferences. I want new assets to open up in the main window. That's how I like to do it. You do it however you want, I don't care. Um, and let's go into the project settings and make sure that we change the map and mode. I want the editor to start up in this new map that I have here, not the default. Perfect, okay. A couple more things I'm gonna create here. A new game mode. And I'm actually, I'm not gonna use the game mode base class. I'm gonna use the one that we just call game mode. This has got some multiplayer stuff built in and I want multiplayer eventually, I think, right? So I made that and I also wanna make a character class. Now I don't wanna make character class from up here. I actually want a character class that's specific to the plugin. So I'm gonna go VR, CH, there it is, VR character. Go ahead and create that sucker. C underscore VREP, perfect. Now I'm gonna head over to the world settings of this map, override the game mode to the game mode that I just created. And under this game mode, change the default pawn class to the character I created, perfect. Now let's go ahead and open that character up real quick because there's a couple things real quick, actually just one thing for both controllers I wanna do. I'm gonna select both of those and go under Visualization, I guess I should search for it, but you know what? I just wanna click here. I wanna display the device model, yes. Yes, please. Now, turn on my controller, and let's give it a little test spin in VR here, make sure I can see my controller here. Come on, no? Why you do this to me? Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There you go. Must have clicked on something stupid. Okay. 
Now it's there. Look at it. There it is. I just have one controller on. Come on, let's save the battery life, huh? All right, that works. Perfect. So now I'll know where my hands are. That's great. Okay. And the last thing I want to build here is a little static mesh. I want to make an actor, just a regular actor class. Let's call him BP Grab Me. I'm going to use him to grab stuff. Actually, I'm going to grab him. Yeah. So I want a static mesh that I can grab. Now, the VR expansion plugin actually has specific classes for this. It has its own grippable static mesh, and uh, it's also got skeletal meshes and actors, stuff like that, that are built in. Um, I'm just going to do a regular static mesh for the first one, and I'm going to add a component later here. So I'm going to say non-grip here. I should know which one's which. I'm going to add another one. Let's say a grippable static mesh. Or you know what? Let's do something even crazier, huh? Let's go with another um, provided component here from the expansion plugin, a slider. Let's add a slider in there. All right. Now I'm going to make this non-grip actor here, the static mesh, the root component. Your slider is a regular component. Let's make the non-grip static mesh a cube. And I just need to make sure engine content is shown so I can find a little cube here. Perfect. It's a little too big. A little too big. Let's lock these scale values and bring it down by about half in every direction. And then we'll go to the VR slider and we'll make that a cylinder. Perfect. All right, I'm going to bring that one up and tilt it. Just tilt it about 90 degrees. Okay. Now let's just throw this puppy in here. Bring it up and drop to the floor with the end key. And move it just a little bit around. See if I can see it. Perfect. All right. Well, that about does it for this video. That's all I wanted to do right now. Um, later, we're going to get into grabbing stuff and moving stuff. But uh, for now, that wraps up this video, and I will see you in the next one.